Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. I'm doing reading for Scorpio, twin flames and separation, or your person and you in separation. What's been the hardest thing for you to face the music about? And I'm doing face the music because at the end, I'm going to pull out a love song uh, for you that could be relevant to your situation with your person from spirit guided me and we'll see what that song is. And if it doesn't resonate, you guys can leave me in the comments. What's your song with your person? And um, the song I pull out might be something that might be comforting or something like that. Okay, so let's get into this. So let's see what has been for Scorpio the hardest thing to face the music about. What's been the hardest? Ooh, so we've got words hurt. What's said is said. So I feel like if they said something very painful to you um, that stung you, that... Uh, possibly really hurt you or hurt your ego or something that really really hurt theirs something maybe that you said to them so it could be more of like an emotional upset um, a verbal upset it could be that you know you said something now that you wish you, you really wish you could take it back they might be feeling this too where they want to apologize but they don't know how they don't know how to find the words to apologize and it could be that you too, you know, you feel like you need to apologize, but you don't know how to get the words or you don't know how to go about it. So there's definitely some kind of communication breakdown with this. There's definitely hurt feelings, bruised egos. There's definitely took it personal, something that hit very deeply. I feel like spirits like go a little deeper on that, find out like where the root of that is and like why has it caused so much upset for you? Like what was it that they said or that you said or what was it that, you know, they, they, they did that you know, or maybe you did that, you know, what was behind it. Let's see something else that uh, may be attached to that. Let's see what else we get. Yeah, we've got self-esteem. So self-love and self-worth. So something about what they said could have attacked your self-esteem or your self-worth or the way you see yourself or the way you view yourself. It could have been they said something so hurtful that it cut your self-esteem, cut you down. It could definitely be that. It could be something with them, but I feel like this is more them, that they they really attacked you on a very personal level some way. I feel like they were trying to hurt you. Um, and, you know, it was very hard for you to keep up a facade about it and act like it, it, it isn't hurting you, okay? But it's deep. I feel like they cut you deep. That's what I'm getting. Um, so that's been the hardest thing. Yeah, sure. What's an energy attached to this? What's an energy attached to the self-esteem issue, something that spirit wants us to know about with an energy attached to it. Broken heart. So yeah, they really hurt you. Words can hurt. Words are like weapons. Somebody could say one thing and it's like the worst trigger and that's it. And your heart is really broken. I also get betrayal energy. I don't know if they cheated on you or if there was a third party situation or something that got in your way of being with them or them being with you definitely something with um betrayal disappointment sort of maybe even rejection a little bit i'm getting um and and possibly even um more of a a, a healing i feel like your your heart chakra is blocked because of this now i feel like trust is an issue i feel like you might have even felt a little bit manipulated by this person um yeah. Oh man, this is hard. This is a hard healing. I'm going to say, I feel it. I feel it in the energy of these cards. Let's see what else we get about soul lessons. This may help you understand a little bit, piece it together a little bit more, maybe help you get some clarity. Let's see what we're getting. Happiness. Yeah, this is a big one. Can I make myself happy without depending on another person? I am aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. It's also following your heart and which way you want to go and being free about it and happy about it. Like when you're in pursuit of your dream with no judgments, no fear of judgments, no anything, you're just going straight forward towards your dreams. I feel like that is a source of true happiness where you can make yourself happy. But I feel like this has to do with you also being able to make yourself happy without relying on anyone else. So doing what you you need to do for you what you want to do for you look at yeah growth I want to expand my consciousness and awareness so something about this too has opened you up you may feel almost a little bit psychic these days your your intuition may be growing because of all these things um, it but it's about healing so I feel like you will um, be able to heal 
and you'll grow because you've healed. So let's now get a special song. There might be something from Spirit, a special song. Like I said, it could be something in the song that might comfort you. It could be something in the song that you're meant to hear. Uh, something that maybe this is your, your song with this person or, or reflective of when you first met. Let's see what we got. If not, like I said, leave me your comments below. What is your special song? Huh, we got Remember Yesterday, 80s song, old 80s Skid Row. Very romantic song, but something in this song may be something very reflective of your connection with this person. I hope that this was helpful, guys. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can see when I do more readings like this. And don't forget to check the link in my description box for my private reading information. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next reading.